Robert Jackson was on leave from his job as an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. He was appointed as the lead United States prosecutor in Nuremberg by Harry Truman. Jackson didn't attend college and completed only one year of law school. He became an attorney by serving an apprenticeship. He served as both Solicitor General and Attorney General before going to the High Court. While other World War II allies originally wanted summary execution of Nazi war criminals, the United States pushed for a trial. Jackson hoped that the proceedings at Nuremberg would create new international law outlawing aggressive warfare. His opening statement ran for the better part of a day and is considered by many to be one of the great pieces of oratory. The chief prosecutor for the United States of America. The privilege of opening the first trial in history for crimes against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility. The wrongs which we seek to condemn and punish have been so calculated, so malignant and so devastating that civilization cannot tolerate their being ignored because it cannot survive their being repeated. That four great nations, flushed with victory and stung with injury, stay the hand of vengeance and voluntarily submit their captive enemies to the judgment of the law is one of the most significant tributes that power has ever paid to reason. 